I like Trevor Lawrence, but it seems like every scout's making it seem like Trevor Lawrence is the next coming of the greatest quarterback you've ever seen. Yes. And it was just kind of refreshing to hear Greg say, like, yeah, I like him. Essentially kind of pump your brakes. I don't know if he's generational. He's fantastic. So I just that just kind of stood out to me when so many other people were already anointing him as the greatest of all time. Well, I mean, no no one's anointing him anything. No? Except the first overall selection. That's well, what he's being anointed. I don't anointed. know, Rich. You spent months I, talking about a parade I and know. confetti that I know. he was going to lead the Jets I who haven't won one in know. 51 years. I know. And Zach Wilson will have the same <laughs> uh, expectation placed upon him, too. Will he, though? Yes, he, yes, he will. Yes, he will. You're drafted second overall. You're bouncing the guy who was Samilton. Broadway Sam, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're, 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 who was third overall, and, and we chose, you know, and then Sanchez, the Sanchez, fifth Sanchez. overall. They traded up to go get him. He was fifth or sixth overall. That happened in Radio City with all the Ziggies around, and Gary V was probably going crazy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, the expectation level will be there for him as well. And it's just, it's intense. The fishbowl of New York City and New Jersey is more intense with all of the reporters from 19 publications and mm-hmm. longtime listeners and first time callers on multiple <laughs> radio stations is different than, say, Jacksonville, Florida. No doubt. But um, there will be an expectation level placed on Trevor that won't be anywhere close to where he is in New York City, and that may suit him very well. And that's one of the things that the Jets need to evaluate about Zach Wilson, because one thing that Sam Darnold has is a very very Eli Manning way of just letting it all roll down off his back. I mean, he's so positive. I saw him at a Wheels Up event a couple of Super Bowls ago, and I saw him, and, you know, and, and you know, Gase was coming in, and he's all fired up. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, we're going to, you know, we we got a lot of guys there. that I, I love the guys. That I he couldn't have been more positive, and none of it. He wasn't worn down. He wasn't beat down. He wasn't anything which is what you have to have in New York City. And that's part of the evaluation that we talked about with Greg Cosell, that he's going to, the Jets are going to have to go through with Zach Wilson. Is he ready to be Broadway Zach? Zach's Fifth Avenue? <laughs> Zach's Fifth Avenue. Goldman Zach's. Like, is he ready for it? <laughs> because it. it's coming if it. he goes there. And that's what it looks like. And certainly, you know, that throw that he made in the pro day, holy, I mean, that's the yeah. sort of stuff that, that we're going to be talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That guy. He couldn't. Donald couldn't throw anything like that. All right, Rich. So you, you changed. I mean? You changed my mind no, no, on no, no, that. No, 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 no. So, so, and, and part of your uh, your your opinion on what you just said that wow, like like you know, Greg is not anointing him anything. He's the first guy who doesn't say that he walks on water. I mean, every evaluator will always put up flags or red flags or say this guy's you know not a strider or he's a long strider or whatever. I mean, that's what somebody who evaluates with an all. 22 will say and it's also again like if the nfl draft happened to like let's just say the nfl did the draft process like the nba does super bowl two weeks later we're doing it right could you imagine like the nba has the nba finals two weeks later we're doing it yeah let's go like if the nfl had done that lawrence would have been number one overall and we're not even Going back and forth about this, that, the other thing. Right, with the pro not day. Not talking about work yeah, ethics. Exactly. We're not talking Four about all this stuff. Four is a long it's time. It's a long yeah. time to ruminate and break down and pro days, yes. And, well, I mean, then you heard about this guy, right, <laughs> through the other people, you know, we were yeah. telling you stuff. And I heard this guy say this and heard that guy say that. And Teddy Bridgewater wore two gloves. What's that? It's just yeah. that what Orlovsky said, a lot of evaluators will not share on the air because of the fact right. that somebody's saying it. Somebody will have an exact opposite opinion, and then you, 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 you have to hear some. Some talent evaluators will will talk about someone's work ethic, but not call it into question. They'll say that there is a lot of people who are wondering whether he's cut out, whether he loves the game, whether all that stuff. You know, so there's a lot to evaluate when it all comes down to it. Urban Meyer sitting on the Fox set or sitting wherever he was saying, how much? Okay. Uh, I know I got Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I'm going to give this thing a try. 
That's right, okay? Then right now, some you know, the Jets are sitting there thinking, you know, do we love Zach? Sam, How? what can we get for this? What can we get for that? You know, I mean, so put it all together, and it's what are you most comfortable with? I, clearly, the 49ers have made a choice on who they're most comfortable with right now, and Absolutely. we'll just find out who it is at some point. Yep. So...